Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on Outer. Today and as usual, I'm going to show you how to install on Docker Little Link. This is a, I don't want to say clone, but it's something similar like Linktree. That would be a, an alternative way to host the same thing on your own server rather than use Linktree. Again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified. All right, so now without any delay, guys, let's go and start the installation of Little Link. I'm going to use Docker. Again, all the information in the description below. I'm going to add all the codes, anything you need to get started. So I am going to use Portainer for this installation. And I'm going to write Little Tree here. Sorry, Little Link. And I'm going to copy my code here that I got on my GitHub. Again, I'm going to install the latest image all right so this is the code where i'm going to copy and paste inside my portainer stack now here i got port 3000 on both ways you need to change the port 3001 on the right to 80. i mean you could use 80 for both is up to you really but because i already got the port 80 used i'm going to use 80 on the right so that means the actual container and 3000 so I, I, I know that's the one I'm not using at the moment. So that's it. This is what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to delete the stuff that I don't need. Perhaps you already need it. And you can just add your own information here about Telegram, uh, GitHub, whatever. All the links you want can be done here. I'm going to just leave a few like Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. You know, again, here I go GitHub again as well. But anyway, we got the latest, uh, as I said, guys, the latest image from... Uh, Julian Preber, I think, little link, and again, I'm going to copy the the latest uh, version, and I'm going to copy and paste there, unless it's different, but I already got the, the correct one, I made sure that it's correct, the only thing is different is the port, so you want to change the port 3000 there, alright, so what you want to do, and when you're ready, you want to change that, you want to just deploy the stack as you usually do it, so I'm going to press deploy, in a second, I'm going to show you again which port you need to change it yourself. I think I'm, I'm, I just deployed it, but I'm going to change it so you know exactly what to change just in case uh, you're having problems. Because with this installation, unless you know what you're doing, you might have a problem to load. The one on the right, as I said, it needs to be 80. But because I got other stuff as well, I couldn't do it. So anyway, once I've done that, I'm going to as you can see the stack has been successfully done and is starting to load so as you can see there is no error whatsoever everything's done and correctly added so as you can see there we got 200 the status so um, let's go to the container again and as you can see there the ports if i load it you get this now don't be scared give a little bit time sometimes it takes a little bit more time to load all right so let's go back to Portainer. Let's go back. Uh, as you can see, it's already loaded there. But I'm going to show you now about the port. Otherwise, I think you're going to have a problem. All right. So I'm going back to my gist and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if I click on edit there, I'm going to go up to the end. And as you can see here, the 3000, I'm going to put back to 80. So use this one and you will not have any issues. As I said, I had problems. I had to use 3000 on both. Usually it doesn't happen. I don't know why it doesn't happen to me, but again, anyway, guys. So to log in, what you're going to do again is add the main. Uh, the actual information is on the website. I'm not sure if it's on this page or this page here. Let's have a look. Nope, it doesn't look like it. I think I lost this. I'm sure it was on this page here. Uh, is on this one here? Here we go. It's admin at admin.com. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to log in and I should get inside no problem. And as you can see, we are inside the actual little link. You can actually view the page as well. So you can see there is no links at the moment. And I'm going to show you a little bit around how to change things, how to change the logo. Or the image whatever and how to add links so i'm going to first thing we're going to do i'm going to copy my youtube channel link here let's uh let's go back here 
All right, so I'm going to add the link. Again, the title is up to you, is uh, optional. And I'm going to also add the custom button if I want to. All you got to do, just click and choose what you want. In this case, I'm going to choose YouTube. Once you're happy, I'm going to submit it. And that should be visible on the actual page itself. Oh, by the way, I'm using still the default password. Don't forget to change it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to change it now. And there we go, we got the password changed there. So let's go back to the links. And as you can see, the link was added successfully. You can add multiple links. Again, any links you really want. Again, if you know Linktree, you know exactly how it really works. I'm going to add Twitter and a button as well, Twitter. I'm going to submit. Now, if I go to the page and I'm going to refresh it, we should have the two links. As simple as that. Again, I'm going to show you a little bit how to change the pages as well at the bottom and everything else. Here, of course, you can actually change the handle. In this case, is the admin. I can change it to anything I want. But again, don't forget, once you change this, you've got to change the page that we opened because it goes with the handle, for example. And I think... Let's submit this a second. Uh, I don't know if I need to change... I might need to change the actual OIC UK because I didn't put, yeah, let's do this one here, all in one. So let's save it. Oh, yeah, do, let's do this one here. And, and let me copy this one. I'm going to submit it and I'm going to do it again. So after at, I'm going to change it to OSUK official. And as you can see, it works again. Also, I'm going to change the word admin. And also, I'm going to cho uh, show you how to choose your logo. If you go to profile, come on. There we go, we're going to change the admin with OSC UK as well. I'm going to click a change name, refresh, and it should be the new one. As you can see, all done. Let's go to pages. I'm going to add the logo, and I'm going to press submit. And as you can see, the logo has been changed. Now, when I refresh the page, I should have the logo there as well. And as you can see, as simple as that. Now, I'm going to show you the pages and you actually change the home, the terms, and everything else. And also, I'm going to ch show you how to change the theme as well. There are some theme comes with it. I'm going to show you how to um, download and upload the theme. It's very simple anyway. Actually, I might do this one first. Let's go to theme. Let's choose one theme there. Now, I don't know much about the theme, how easy it is to do the skins or, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to look into it and I might do another video, but let's choose one of it here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to choose the one with parrots. Let's have a look. Where did I see the other parrots? Here we go. SOT. Let's choose this one here. I'm going to download it. Let's go back to the actual page and I'm going to upload the theme once I have chosen the file. SOT. Upload the theme, and once you've done that, at the moment we're using the default. I'm going to press on the select theme, SOT. Again, there is a Galaxy Mono. I mean, again, I don't know which one they were. Never seen it before. So again, let's do this here. SOT, update theme, and then refresh, and let's have a look. Where are we? Here we go. Let's refresh this. Gets a little bit chaotic with those tabs anyway, but as you can see, works beautifully. And even the actual links are there. But again, you know, it's up to you what you like. You know, it's up to you really. Uh, it's all about choices. We also go mono. Let's have a look while well, we're there. Let's refresh. That's much simpler. And then I think we got Galaxy as well. But uh, forget about that. Let's go and have a look at the profile. We already looked, I think, on this one here. Let's go to the admin and let's go to config. And I think we got a lot of stuff here. You can actually configure. I'm not going too much in the environments. Again, you can do backups. You can upload files if you want. Uh, you go advanced config. Again, I haven't looked into it. This is more kind of a how to install and get started. Um, not much more than that, really. Then we got the users. Again, you can add multiple users. The actual user can actually register. Again, you can actually use it as a link tree and make other people uh, use the service if you want to. Again, now let's have a look at the actual pages itself on how to do it. And again, if you go to the config, you will find the pages panels here. And again, 
you can allow the registration as i said if you want to so anyway guys you can also change the main logo there um, little links i think um but again guys i hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and i hope to see you again next time when i make a new one thanks again and i'll see you next time